please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Samantha Leesnath. And I'm Aaron Housegain. Sam, Christmas is coming up, and I'm so excited to go and cut down a Christmas tree. Me too, Aaron. And coming up on today's show, we've got a story about some people who are cutting down trees this season for a different reason. Plus, we've got plenty of ways you can get involved at GHS before Christmas break. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, November 30th, 2016. If you're looking for a way to help out those in need just in time for the season, an opportunity has opened up for you. During all lunch hours, you can donate to help the GHS Social Studies Honor Society provide Christmas dinner meals to GHS families. Be sure to show your generosity and keep up this great tradition. All Key Club members need to make sure to sign up for the Appreciation Breakfast if you have not yet done so. The breakfast is scheduled for December 7th, and Mrs. Toldness needs a headcount to plan for everyone by then, so don't miss out. The Cultural Awareness Club for Everyone meets next Tuesday to discuss topics such as race, ethnicity, and culture. Any student interested in creating a safe environment, productive place, and open-minded interactions with new friends should meet in B124. See Mr. Whitman, Mrs. Meeks, or Mrs. Helfers for more info. All NHS teacher orders are due to Mrs. Torman by this Friday, December 2nd. Anyone interested in purchasing one can drop off an order form in the main office or mobile classroom 5 by the end of the week. Are you looking for a place and time to make art, collaborate with artists, and meet new friends? Come down to Open Studio Club. They meet every Thursday after school in D162 until 4 p.m. New members are always welcome, so make sure to stop by. And Sam, it's so important to protect the environment, and there's one local group that's really dedicated a lot of their time to this great cause. That's right, Aaron, and GTV reporter Caitlin Keenahan has the story. It's marked with red, leave it alone. Uh -huh. It's not. This past no Saturday, worries. Kane County volunteers joined together to help the forest. People are cutting buckthorn and honeysuckle in particular. <laughs> what we're trying to do is we're trying to open the canopy to sunlight because in the springtime, when there's not enough sunlight on the ground floor, we don't have any regeneration of our native wildflowers and woodland sedges and grasses and then even the acorns. And so we're trying to get those multi-generational trees coming in that are different sizes, different ages, so that when an oak tree does fall, there's another oak tree to take its place. And all this cutting gives the forest a new look. So this is helping the forest by taking out uh, thousands and thousands of trees that are not from America. And when those trees are gone, we now can see, we can actually look up and see the sky. So by opening up that canopy, allowing the sunlight to come in, we're going to start to see rejuvenation of all those native plants. I just cut this tree yeah, down. You're taking it to the pile. But it is the communal atmosphere that makes this heavy load much lighter. Oh, this one's a big baby! When you talk to people and, and empower them and encourage them and, and laugh with them and talk with them and, and tell them why they're doing what they're doing, they, they feel really good about it. And, and when you get 50 people, you can see the fruit of your labor almost immediately. If you pull it, there you go. So they feel really good about coming back the next time because they know that they're getting something done and they're accomplishing something very important. <laughs> and the volunteers are making the forest healthier one tree at a time. For GTV News, Timber! I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Aaron, that seems like such a great cause. Yeah, it's such a great cause. I really want to get involved. Attention seniors, Wabonzi application and scholarship day is today. Please come down to A108 during your lunch or study hall to complete your Wabonzi application or start the Wabonzi Foundation Scholarship, which awards students up to $3,000 for tuition, books, and fees. An admissions representative and GHS counselors will be there to assist you. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. 
All college and university mail will be available in the counseling and advising office for pickup. Students will not be sent mail or page to get mail, so make sure you check your mail often. Bonjour Geneva, if you are interested in joining French students in their travels to Paris during spring break 2017, you can visit the first pre-trip orientation Tuesday, December 13th, after school in room J241 with Madame Bello. If you are not able to attend, you must check with Madame the following week. Attention all GHS students, the third annual Clash of the Vikings will be taking place on Thursday, January 26th. Any clubs, teams, or individuals are encouraged to sign up and compete for prizes and to have a lot of fun in the process. Performances could be anything from a lip sync to a skit or whatever you come up with. Groups or individuals must sign up by January 6th at bit.ly slash clash 2017 and have a staff sponsor. If you like coffee a latte, you might be interested in owning a Vikings coffee t-shirt. You can support the culinary arts program by buying a shirt through QR codes around the school or by the culinary window. Orders are due by December 30th, so be sure not to miss out on this great opportunity. Congrats to the girls basketball team who beat Streamwood last night 66-45. The girls are back in action next Thursday at Larkin, so make sure to head on, head on out to Larkin and cheer them on. And now here's through the know before we go. Wabonzi Application Scholarship Day is today during lunches and study halls. GTV has a mandatory meeting today after school right here in the studio. And the student help desk will be closing at 2 p.m. today. That looks like that's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Samantha Wiesneth. And I'm Aaron Housingay. Have a great day, Geneva.